Hello all, this is Feeding Frenzy 91 and I believe y'all know what I'm talking about. It's the the Xbox conference just happened, man. And um hey, let's just start with the bad news. Bad news. Um bad news for me at least. You guys can have a different opinion. Um bad news is that they are it was like what I said in my previous video. If y'all check my previous video, I said that it was just going to be a tease and we weren't going to get much. And truth be told, we got some good stuff, but we didn't get like it was nothing like Sony's conference in the sense of how much stuff we got. I mean, we did get the council at least. I mean, yeah, you got to give them that. Um, also, uh, other bad news. They not backwards compatible. Bad news for me because I wouldn't. That means I wouldn't buy uh, it too early because um, I would wait until my Xbox game 360 starts to run. I mean, GTA 5 is coming out like um, two months before, so. I would wait until I stopped playing like Xbox 360 games to buy that. So, other bad news. Um, even though they, um, it seems like it was confirmed, it was uh, was wasn't always online. There's this article up now that says they're not sure. I mean, I doubt it's going to be always online. Microsoft is not that dumb. Okay, they would have learned from EA's fail with SimCity. I mean, come on. Anyway, so um, let's go to the good news. Now, honestly, not that much for me. Now, they did announce stuff like, um, you know, the Forza. They announced, they, they showed the new graphics. Pretty good. Um, but for me, the best news and the thing I was most excited for are those eight brand new exclusives coming out next year. And to me, that's just, that was like, that was my biggest thing that I wanted from this Xbox conference. Brand new exclusives. Come on, Xbox, give us some exclusives because tired of letting we and PlayStation own all the exclusives and Xbox just have a few. Also, um, what was I really liked about the conference, kind of sad, but what was really great was the COD um, preview. And to me, that kind of took away from the whole um, conference itself because the conference is supposed to be about Xbox. And you see COD, and COD shows this really great preview. Um, and it's like people and also I think it was a mistake that Microsoft let that be the last preview because uh, it, th like that that preview went on and then all of a sudden it said uh, we'll see more at E3 and I'm like what it's done you're gonna just end it with that greatness but not from your own company from another company and I'm like so you're gonna end it with a game that's gonna be released on probably every single system out there and uh, not bad, but I was just like, I thought that Microsoft would end with Microsoft stuff. Um, I would also, um, with the whole, because people are going to be coming back from the conference with the last thing in mind, and the last thing was the COD preview. So people are going to be like, oh, wow, that COD preview is greatness. I feel like they're going to sort of miss out the whole conference. But anyway, let's move on. Um, I really, um, what were your thoughts on the conference? Just tell me your thoughts in the comments, because... Um, my thoughts were it was this a little bit um just too teasy. It was like we didn't get anything really. Like we, we saw Forza, but we only saw Forza for two seconds and stuff. And then they showed that new game, Quantum Quantum Break, which actually um was I liked the live action scene, but then I'm like, okay, but we don't see much about the game, it doesn't really explain something. Um I understand. Like um Microsoft they needed to save some for E3, they needed to save the bunch for E3. But that leads to me to thinking, like, did we need this conference? I don't know. Tell me your thoughts about that. Did we need this conference, or did we, like, um, did Microsoft just think, you know, we have to get it out since Sony's been getting so much hype, and the Wii U's been getting so much non-hype, which somehow has led to it being more popular? Um, I don't mean in sales, and just um, everybody's talking about the Wii U. That's what I mean. All right, so one more thing about the Xbox, the new name, Xbox One. What do y'all think about that? Because me, I'm just, I have mixed feelings. Part of me is really um, happy that, that um, they fooled us, thinking, and thinking that um, it was going to be Infinity or 720 or like all of the source of name, just, just Xbox. Xbox One, though, do you think that's smart for them to be going with Xbox One? Are they trying to say that 360 and the original Xbox were like failures and they're starting a brand new... Like, Xbox is going to be so great. There's just going to be Xbox One, Xbox Two, Xbox Three, Xbox Four. 
I don't know, sounds a bit Sony, but um, we'll see. It would be funny if like someone went to GameStop and got like Xbox One, and then GameStop gave them the original Xbox. It would just be hilarious. It would be even more hilarious if they like let them buy the new Xbox One games, and they went on to play it and it couldn't play. <laughs> but that's not going to happen. I don't think GameStop even sells used copies of X the original Xbox anymore. Um, so... Anyway, uh, that's about it about the conference, um, because the conference was pretty short. Looking forward to E3, people, because that's when I believe we're going to get some real stuff from Microsoft. Some stuff from Sony and some stuff from even Nintendo, but um, that's for another video. My thoughts personally are that um, this is a good move. I will be doing a full video on the Xbox about, about the Xbox One, about what I really would like, but this was just about the conference, so... Like, comment, subscribe, and God bless.